H2.1 introduces simple sync mode for two deck controllers, smart sync pitch behavior changes, and SP6 sample player hardware control. In H2.1, you can now choose between simple sync and smart sync. Simple sync allows you to match the tempo and beats with ease on two deck controllers. When in simple sync mode, pressing sync on any deck will match the BPM and beats of both playing tracks. The deck you engage sync on will become the slave, while the deck it has been synced to will become the master tempo. To turn simple sync off, either press shift plus sync on your controller or click the off button in the software. This will reset the pitch of the track to their original BPM and will reflect the absolute position of the pitch slider on your controller. You can now reset your track's pitch to its absolute tempo as reflected on your hardware pitch controls when disengaging sync in smart sync mode. Clicking on the pitch display next to the virtual deck will reset the pitch to its absolute value as reflected by your controller's pitch slider. As before, you can also press shift plus sync to disengage smart sync and shift plus sync a second time to reset the pitch to its absolute position. You now have the option of controlling playback of the SP6 sample player with your itch controller. To enable this, you need to click on the SP6 hardware trigger mode button found to the left of the SP6 drop down menu. A blue box will show around the SP6 to show the feature is enabled. With this feature switched on, you can trigger sample player slots by pressing shift plus the respective cue point button on your hardware. For the Novation Twitch controller, pressing Shift plus Hot Cues will take you into SP6 hardware trigger mode. Then you can simply press the pads to trigger your sample slots. Alongside these new features, there have been a number of important enhancements to Itch to improve stability and performance. That sums up the new features in Itch 2.1, available now as a free update for all Itch users from Serato.com.